Anderson. It's Tuesday morning. Actually, it's about uh, nine o'clock. I got here early. Well, I mean, I get up when Susan gets up anyway, and I got all organized and everything, but I don't want to leave here too early. I'm going to Cutstown, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown, right where I was last week almost. Big auto parts um, warehouse. I don't have my wind muff on my camera, so I hope the wind isn't causing issues with sound here. But I, uh, back here. There we are. Yesterday was, uh, it was slow for what I did. I should have been home a lot sooner than I was. But it's okay. Um, I think I was getting paid hourly, and, and that's no big deal. But I got in back here to the terminal, I mean, like 9.30, 9.45. Uh, and went home and just you know went to bed <laughs> uh, but it was it was like my clock was almost out by 14 hour when I got in so I was here and I got things organized and I went in and I talked to Alicia and I got all planned I'm ready and we have a tire service guy that comes around and he just looks at all the trucks and tires and he paused by mine and, and he said he didn't like the way my left rear drive looked it didn't match See, these are like virgin tires. My other three. And that one's a recap. And he said he's going to pull it off and put on one to match like one of these, which I'm all for that. So he, he left. He'll be back in a minute. And he's going to fix this. Although, it, you know, it's got a lot of tread right here. This is the line where you can see where the recap was brought together. And when it's a recap, it has a stamp here. And you can kind of see on the edge here how it, it has this lip. This is where the recap was. And it has information up here for the type of recap. And if I go over here to one of the original tires, it doesn't have any of that. You know, it's just the lugs. And these are really good tires. These are our Michelin X1, XDN2 Energy. They're designed to have a uh, very low rolling resistance. And they do. So, so that's good. Meanwhile, over here, I'm doing a time lapse that'll take about a half hour. Uh, I'm shooting a frame every three seconds and 500 frames. I think that's what I said. And it's overcast clouds. They don't look like they're moving, but those clouds are just zinging along. So. Maybe I'll, I'll, if it works out, I'll let you see. Otherwise, this entire video, I'm trying to shoot on my GoPro. So I want to show you something over here. I'm going to walk over there. You can see that this trailer is missing a door. And these are the hinges. And you can see it's just snapped clean off. On all of them. And the door's up in there on the floor. It was a loading dock incident, I think, where, you know, we go to some, we go to some crappy places as far as loading docks. And probably what happened is the catch over here on this hook, which is very, very minimal, that chain came off of there and the driver pulled out and the door was flapping out and got caught on something and it just, just tore it right off. The nice thing is these hinges are made of aluminum and they can be, uh, I think that can be repaired really easily. Which is kind of cool to know. Here it is Wednesday at, at uh, 11.30 roughly in the morning. 
and I'm getting loaded here. I'm backed into this place, kind of come in over there. I unloaded last night, my appointment was at 11, and it was a big auto parts store that you kind of see, and uh, that one of their distribution centers. And they were very nice, but they I was just about out of hours. I had like a half hour. And they unloaded me early. I got there at like 9.30 on my 11 o'clock appointment, and they unloaded me right away. I mean, I was probably there 45 minutes to an hour. But it was this parking lot that was like a nice big new place, but it wasn't lit at all. It was like dark. Very strange. Very, very strange. Because it, was, it wasn't like this. It was like, you know, you see them where they, it's like new almost, but they didn't put any lighting in it. And so I left there, and of course I was worried, where am I going to park? And there was a little truck stop right at that exit. And I wheeled in there, and I was looking at a spot, and I talked to the driver, and he said, you'll get hit for sure if you go there. And so I drove back around to get out of there. It was like blocked in. I almost didn't get out of there. You know, you go into those places at night, and people park all over. You don't know what's going to happen. It was just dirt. It was, it was a mistake. But I got out of there, and I just said, I'm going to head toward this place. There's a service plaza on the way because I'm, I took that leg of the Pennsylvania Turnpike that goes north out of Allentown and up towards Scranton and is that Wilkes Bar? That's how you pronounce that. And I so I got on and I thought well I'm gonna have to land there because I'll be out of hours and it was a nice big service plaza. I wheeled in there and there were like all kinds of places <laughs> and this was at like midnight so that was sure nice. I slept well. I like it when I can sleep well. Woke up, I had extra time. I was a half hour away from this place. And uh, made it in here. I'm gonna take this load to Indianapolis. But I don't think I can make it there today. My appointment is for tomorrow morning at nine. Since I'm, it's already afternoon. I'm probably gonna end up pulling up um, Eastern Indiana somewhere. I'm going to run across 80. I'm up north of I-80 now, so I won't be taking the turnpike back. I'll take I-80 all the way across. And if my load's not too heavy, it'll move along well. Otherwise, I'll be slow. And um, see what happens. But I'm in pretty good mood. Um, I'm holding up well. Yesterday was an extremely, seemed like a long day. I drove about 630 miles. But when you're crossing the Appalachians, it's slow, you know, that's, eats up time, so it, it was a full day of driving yesterday, and I was ready to just stop when I did. They put an inverter in my truck for me, and I got a 1500 watt inverter, that was the limit that they would do. And it's nice because with it, I can power my refrigerator and my microwave. So they're loading me now. It's about noon, and I figure I'll be done fairly soon. So I'm going to have my lunch before I start driving. And I have some leftover steak and potatoes that I brought along. Actually, it was some fillets from Costco we got. Well, here I am. It's Thursday, 11.15, and I'm back at our Anderson Terminal. And I'm gonna close this out, but remember, this whole thing was done with my GoPro Hero 5, which is right here. And uh, I'll see you later.